Good to be back too, and I want to kick off with this record. It's not a current hit, but it's a great hit from Phil Collins, and it's one which sums up something which happened whilst I was away. The two sides buried the hatchet in North Island and got together, and they did that through understanding. And I think Phil Collins must have seen that coming somehow when he wrote this hit. Both sides of the story. Hi, this is Cindy Lauper. Isn't Phil Collins a little wanker? Uh-huh. Thank you. Okay, and tonight's Screaming Jeffrey, big prizes on offer this evening include these. They're patent 1FM dog locks. They're rather great, aren't they? Aren't these great 1FM dog locks? They're ideal when you're out shopping. There's absolutely nothing to tie the animal up to. Picture yourself there. You just bolt on the dog lock, and the animal is locked in a standing or sitting position. The choice is you're actually the, yeah, kneeling as well. You lock it in a kneeling position, like that. Uh, it's fashioned from one piece of tubular steel, one unbreakable bolt, 1FM dog lock. Several of those, boy, they're neat, aren't they? Uh, that or actually any prize you want for the first person who sends in a dead local radio eye in the sky style traffic reporter they're all congenital jerks and if you can shoot one down and send in their dead body dog locks nude shots of Mark Goodyear from Jock Magazine whatever prize you want they're all yours Peter Benham's in tonight jumping Peter got any jumps Hi, Chris. Yeah. yeah yeah you're, you're okay jump, yeah. Uh, uh, jump okay yeah. jump yeah jump yeah great more yeah. from you later Cheers. Hey, this is Cindy Lock. Isn't Phil Collins a little wanker? Yeah, just looking through to see uh, somebody, a big favourite of mine, somebody who gets a lot of stick, is Mandy Smith. It was great to see her last week winning the Rear of the Year Award. Nice to see her winning an award again. You may remember she got Slimmer of the Year Award a couple of years ago. Oasis. Emma Freud, with a large two-dimensional head, basically a flat sheet of bone, turns to face a strong breeze and is blown frowning from the cliff. On the phone, waste someone else's money. Do this. Hello? Good afternoon, ma'am. This is Hal Bags from the San Francisco Research Institute, ma'am, and I have to uh, inform you that one of our terrestrial dolphins has escaped. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Is it, would it be possible it would come into Sonoma County? Napa Valley sighting confirmed. Yeah, we have a, a sighting in the Napa Valley, which what is... What does it look like? Do you know what a dolphin looks like? Uh-huh. Uh, it looks like a dolphin. Oh, it's, a, it's a terrestrial form. Okay. It what can, does terrestrial form mean? It can come out on land, and it uh, has a brown color. Okay. It's just got an extra single foot on its stomach. And... Would it be in the rural areas, like around parks and stuff? Sure, it, it, it creeps along on the left-hand side of things. Now, is this... It, what would it attack? You'll notice that if the animal is going to attack, it increases in size about five or six times. Ooh, how big is it? Well, it's about uh, 12 feet long normally. And if it's getting angry, it'll blow itself up to about 60 feet long in the size of a house. Oh, my stars. Oh, my stars. So you tell your kids, you know, tell your kids to watch out and don't kick a ball at it. They playing with balls? Uh, there's a kid out front playing with balls, yeah. Yeah, well, don't kick a ball at it. If you kick a ball away from it, it'll get smaller. Wow. Okay, thank you, ma'am. I, I appreciate you calling. You're very big. I lied. I did lie. I will talk over this. Peter, oh, yeah. this is tonight's biggest prize. Yeah, yeah. But what, what is it? It's wrapped in newspaper. Yeah. I don't trust you. I'm going to ask you to open this up. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm not sure. You think it's horrible, don't you? Yes, I do. Now, okay, this thing. Right, I bought in France. Okay. And uh, I can give this away as a prize tonight. It's, mm. it's a, it wrapped up as I wrapped it up in France yeah. in a piece of old French newspaper. Mm-hmm. And I brought this through customs. Mm-hmm. And you t- you don't trust me on this. You think of I'm going to something? Of course I don't trust you. Should anybody ever trust you? <laughs> well, look, look, I mean, it's perfectly innocent. I took, yes. it through, I took it through customs. 
Yeah. It was in a suitcase. Yeah. Uh, and did Customs see it? No, they didn't, did they? No, no. 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 Do you think they'd have taken... Do you think they'd have let you keep this, whatever it is? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, they would. OK, look, I'm and just going to... And it's not... Is it going to be look, something pertaining? Look, yeah. I'll just give this away. It's small. Yes. OK, it's no bigger than six inches big, although it's a bigger package. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you open this? You, this, think, you think this is going to be awful, don't I th you? I think... Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not saying, but I think this might be something that... <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm staying well away from this thing. I'm out of this door. It's no, hang on, hang on. Okay, Peter, look, I'll yeah. hold it. I'll hold it. So well, you're going to open alive. the rest of it for me. He, you are quite worried, aren't you? Are you going to throw it at me? No, I'm not. No, I just want you to. You know, what is it? Okay, what do you think it is? I'll give you one guess. Um, it's something made from skin, possibly. I don't know. It's what is it? That's all it is. Oh God! <laughs> you sicko! <laughs> That's real. Do you want me to say what this is? Yeah. A stuffed duckling. <laughs> is that a real? real? It is totally real, yeah. A real stuffed duckling. <laughs> yeah. Which a you can quid. buy. Yeah, look at the price. 25 francs. Three quid. And you consider that... I went to the shop at the top of the ravine, money. and there were 200 <laughs> of those things stood up on the table, yeah. along with uh, honey and soap. Yeah, yeah, they're all stuffed in a sort of Quasimodo kind of... Stuffed ducklings, honey and yeah. soap shop. And do you know what? I, I bought... I couldn't believe yeah. this. And they said, do you know what, the, what their big market for that is? <laughs> what? French kids. French kids apparently like to wake up in the morning and stare yeah. into the face of a dead duck. A dead duck. And that is a dead duck. And I think we can give that away if anybody gets the cow quiz right tonight. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, it's Bridget Bardot country down there, so I don't know what she thinks yeah. about it. It's nice and soft. I don't want to touch it, really. I mean, it is Bridget Bardot would object. It is quite soft. She used to wear them as um, decorative merkins okay. in the, uh, <laughs> in the Saint Tropez Christmas yeah. parade. It's nice. Mm. Um, other prizes in the car quiz. Um, we've got a few clips, exclusive clips of Radio 1. We've got that uh, clip of Emma Freud's interview with Roy Castle a year ago where she flirtatiously blew a little bit of smoke into his face. <laughs> She's such a one. And the unbroadcast recording of Nicky Campbell giving him the last rites and weeping in Latin. So, we'll do the car quiz in about uh, 15 minutes' time. But now, it's time for this. When we have a politically active three-year-old who feels so strongly that they have to out a leading public personality. This week, our kid is outing. Today is Wednesday, the 28th of September, 1994. And today, I would like to out John Patton. Mr. Patton is basically a very silly looking man and has been a thoroughly practicing friend of Dorothy since the age of 20 grand. OK. <laughs> jump. Yep. Again. Jump. Two. OK, higher. <laughs> Great jump. <laughs> Big <laughs> knee, <laughs> knees to chest jump. <laughs> <laughs> Great jump. OK, thanks, Peter. So, more jumping from you in about yeah. uh, 20 minutes or so? Sure, yeah. We'll OK, we'll, we'll, we'll be hearing from you then. Oh, shit. No, can I tell you something? I've completely forgot. Uh, you have to be quick, yes. No, can I tell you? Yeah. Yesterday. This is amazing. Yeah. Okay, can you be quick? I was on the tube yesterday, right? right it's an interesting. Who thing. do you think I saw on the tube? Oh, well, I don't know. Uh, Don McLean. No, no, no. I saw Norman Tebbit. On the tube. On the tube. Yeah, what, I mean, sitting it's just on, a, on a normal tube of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was, Norman I just didn't, Tebbit. Yeah, Norman Tebbit on the on the Circle Line. What on a tube? Yes, thing? yes. By himself. Was what was he no, doing? no, 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 no. This is the with Hesseltine. With Michael Heston, this is I true. I couldn't I believe, believe it. Yes, yeah, I don't believe that. Yes, it was a packed train. Circle the two line. Of them there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I saw exactly the same two on the central line last. Yeah. Thursday no, no, don't take the piss. This is serious. No, I did see this. Absolutely. I did see this. Okay, they were sitting side by side on a yeah. crowded yeah, commuter yeah, train, yeah. and they were talking. I'll tell you mm -hmm. exactly. They were talking, and they were huddled together, and there was doing some. There was some kind of plot going on. Yes. And they were, they were whispering, and My then God, suddenly, yeah, in a were, loud voice. They, they were going like Hessel time would turn to the rest of the people in the train say, yeah. and go like me want to be prime minister <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like winking with laughter, yeah like, really it's weirdly I mean just and then they got onto did they get onto this whole thing about um, this this setup that they're going to do on John Major to destroy oh, his reputation at the Tory conference what this thing with the with was it with the, the press with the duck shoot yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. there's going to be a press call uh -huh. on the promenade and there's going to be one of those fairground duck shoot things where they have yellow tin ducks. You know, That's bobbing right. long waves and an air gun. Yeah, and, and there's going to be something to do with, like, Labour sitting ducks. That's right, on that the, yeah, a little red blob yeah. on each duck. Yeah. And, and then Major was going to have the gun in his hand. Yeah, and then he was going to, this idea, was that they're saying that he was going to fire the gun yeah. at the duck shoot. Yeah. At which point, there'd be a scream from behind the duck behind shoot. The, yeah, yeah. And, and Heseldine would shoot out from yeah. the crowd mm -hmm. and then emerge with, from behind the duck shoot with... Um, with Tebbit. 
just slumped in his arms and blood all over the place. And like, what, this fake blood coming yeah, out of his mouth? Yeah, just like in the sting. Season. And yeah. he kind of like making a hissing noise. And, and uh, Heseltine would... Would then run up to Major with Tebbit over his shoulders. Yeah, like a fireman. That's, yeah. And, and, and say, say you, you bloody, bloody fool, fool! You bloody fool! fool. Yeah. And then just stalk off, just like he did on the Westland Affair down mm -hmm. Downing Street, with Tebbit flapping over his shoulder. That's right. Major's career in ruins and yeah. all the press there to photograph it. I mean, amazing. That was the freakiest thing. When they'd agreed that and yeah. shook hands on it, yeah. they started singing, singing. the song. Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay, what song did they sing? Um, lovely Day, Lovely Day by Bill Withers. Bill Withers, yeah. yeah. Heseltine taking the top while he was going, A lovely day. Yeah, and there's Tebbit's going, Lovely day, lovely day, lovely day, lovely day. And when he did Lovely Day like that, did he, yeah. how did he do it? Did he get it right? Absolutely spot on. Thanks very much indeed, Chisley. Just checking out the travel across the country tonight on 1FM. The A170 between Pickering and Helmsley in Yorkshire. The A166 at Stamford Bridge and the A174 Whitby Coast Road. Heading south in the Midlands, there's the A6 at Loughborough if you're in the area. Quite a lot in Kent this evening. The A257, the B2048 and the M2 again. <laughs> I can only say uh, stick with us and we'll let you know there. Further west, just outside Cocking in West Sussex, there's the A246 north to Helmsmere. South of Reading through Mortimer, Pamba Heath and Tadley tonight. And all also, police say the A303 just outside Andover and the A33 around Basingstoke and the sneakly goring stretch of the B4009. 1FM traffic update. Everybody get fat on cream. 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 On cream. On cream. Poetry on 1FM tonight, that's still to come. And also there will be... Uh, Paul Garner is out somewhere in London with a mobile phone. I think we'll ask him to go into a shop. There's uh, the cow quiz, which you can take part in, of course, if you were phoning in this time yesterday. And um, various other things which I didn't have time to include in the first half. And tonight's feedback report number two. <laughs> Looking today at the rather grubby business of gut festivals. Oh, dear. Does it strike you as a good idea to encourage gut festivals? Oh, no, 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 no. we don't, no, no. What sort of problems can arise at gut festivals? Drug taking? Anything else? Well, they all look too dirty to me. Obviously, to stop this kind of trouble at a gut festival, it'd be quite a good idea to impose a gut limit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, would it be a limit on size or a limit on concept Ooh, of gut? Size. The size size yeah. of gut. Yes. And uh, what size of gut would you allow maximum at a gut festival? I don't know. Say two inches. Take the top off. Oh, no. Take the top off? It'd be spewing out all over the place, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. What length of gut would you impose? About three inches, eh? REM. Fronted by a light bulb with a beard that can sing. OK, and tonight's Screaming Jeffrey. Big prizes on offer this evening include the, something which happened whilst I was away, the two sides buried the hatchet in North Island and got together. And they did that through understanding. And I think Phil Collins must have seen that coming somehow when he wrote this hit, Both Sides of the Story. Hi, this is Cindy Lauper. Isn't Phil Collins a little wanker? Uh -huh. Thank you. Like that. Uh, it's fashioned from one piece of tubular steel, one unbreakable bolt, one FM dog lock. Several of those, boy, they're neat, aren't they? Uh, that, or actually any prize you want, for the first person who sends in a dead local radio eye in the sky style traffic reporters. Their patent 1FM dog locks, they're rather great, aren't they? Aren't these great 1FM dog locks? They're ideal when you're out shopping. There's absolutely nothing to tie the animal up to. Picture yourself there. You just bolt on the dog lock and the animal is locked in a standing or sitting position. The choice is you're actually, yeah, kneeling as well. You lock it in a kneeling position. Hi, it's 
It's Chris Morris back from vacation. Good to be back too. And I want to kick off with this record. It's not a current hit, but it's a great hit from Phil Collins. And it's one which sums up.